plus like you said this is your girl Sion and I'm trying to make this video really quickly before my stepdaughter comes back in um basically this is a well first of all I'm back <laughs> um the last couple the last month really has been stressful um oh my god I've had so many things going on and it's like I really had to take a moment to step back figure out where I was where I wanted to be and how to get from here to there so that took a lot of introspection it took a lot of soul searching I actually went through a point that I didn't want to get married um mother I was in the hospital new job stress it was crazy but basically I am back on track now so um we thought we were going to have to put the wedding off because some things came up, but thankfully it will still be on October the 6th, which means in two days, two months and two days, I will become a missus. So excited, nervous, terrified, all of those emotions are going together. So working through that, uh, we're actually going through pre premarital counseling right now. Um, it's actually been really fun, so we'll see how that, well, hopefully it's turned into marriage, so we'll see how that works out. Um... This is actually meant to be kind of a semi weight update, like what I'm doing, and basically a hair update. Um, my hair is currently in Kiki Twist, um, or semi Kiki Twist. Made these a little bit bigger than I had wanted to, and I'm actually, I like the way these look, but I'm actually going in to clean them up today because I did these a couple days ago. The first time I did them, I uh, started late at night. So I was up braiding to like 2 o'clock in the morning and I ain't know what braids look like. I was braiding them at like 2 o'clock in the morning because they're kind of puffy. So so I'm going back in getting those retwisted. Um, then it didn't help the ends. I kind of did those yesterday but he was in a rush so I had just got the curls in my hair. Didn't dip them long enough and took them out too quickly. So my curls didn't set the way I wanted them to either and they had a chance to trim them. So today I'm going to do maintenance <laughs> on my hair. Um, yeah, because we got some of the braids. The other one I'm kind of okay with because of my hair. And then I've got some that are really, really puffy. Didn't help that it rained on me. So I was like, yeah, craziness going on my hair. So yeah, like those, I'm going back in to redo so I don't have my hair sticking out. Um, I want to tell y'all, my fro curly is awesome. Winifred is the shit. <laughs> my hair is, my natural hair, my fro is wonderful. I love it. Um, I froze it out. I got a fro and I fro it out on Thursday and wore to work. It was great. And kind of like my hair, it's been so soft and so moisturized. I love it. And basically, my I didn't really have gold goals for my first year of going natural because I actually didn't expect to. I wasn't supposed to do my BC until May of this year. So I cut my hair in January when I had another crisis going on. Pretty much crisis in note with me having less hair. So, yeah. Um, so, um, I did my BC like five months early and I didn't really say anything else because I just want to see what my hair is going to do. And since I, my hair is honestly the healthiest, it has been under my own care ever. So, it's like, um, I've been kind of off and on a growth journey. Like, pretty much just been letting my hair do what it's going to do and it grows and it's been going great. So, I want to see if I target it like do targeted growth treats and things like that if my hair will respond to it um i thought about going back to use a grow out oil and i think i used that earlier this year but i was going through my videos and i came across my potion video i used potion on my relaxed hair like not last was it last summer maybe last summer um last like april or may and i got really good growth from it and that's like when my hair was damaged so it's like I wonder if I'll get the same results on it if I use the potion on my hair when it's the healthiest it's ever been. Only thing about that is I ordered potion not this last Wednesday, but the week before that in July Wednesday, and it is now August fourth, and I still yet to receive the product. So their shipping so far, I'm really dissatisfied with because I got shipping confirmation for it on Monday, and it's going by priority mail. And it's Saturday, August the 4th. I ordered it on, what was that? It was like July the 25th or something like that. And still have not received it. That's like the longest shipping I've ever seen in my life. And I think it's crazy. I've ordered things, well, other things like Amazon that I've ordered and received since then. So it's like, it's driving me crazy. Um, 
but yeah once I actually get the potion I meant to start using it on August the 1st, the 1st but I haven't gotten it yet so we'll see how it works out um, but basically my regimen is not going to change because it's working for my hair um, just keeping it simple and that's keeping it moisturized keeping it clean and I'm going to start using the girl treatment now my edges are growing back in nicely these have like no hair on my edges whatsoever so like when I do my puffs now they're not skint on the edges and that's great now one side is growing better than the other and I'm not sure I think it's because it's like the side that I sleep on so maybe that's why and I don't I'm really bad about tying my hair but not I'll be honest and I don't sleep on a, on a satin pillowcase so I'm not tired just be tired I <laughs> take my shower and get cheeks so yeah I'm trying to get better about that though but basically I've been using this is the Tropic Isle Lemon Jamaican Black Castor Oil and made a massage I ain't like no, I've been trying to get so out where I do it once in the morning, once in the evening. Most days like once or every other day sometimes. Working on it. <laughs> but um, that's all I'm going to use like the last possibly three weeks. So I know if I keep using it, it'll get my edges back in where I want them to be. And I do have a new moisturization mix that I'm really loving. And it's really simple. It is... She has stuck my top of them. Yeah, this looks like it'd be a really <laughs> great natural product, but I didn't do this. My stepdaughter stuck my top of my spray bottle into my olive oil. That's great. But yeah, um, <laughs> I made a mix of olive oil, castor oil, and the aloe vera juice. It's kind of like the Kimmy Tube, Kimmy Tube. Leaving in the except I don't have a leaving in. I just have the um, just the aloe vera juice and the oils because, well, since I have braids, I don't want to end up like with the clumpy things on my hair. And makes me wonder what she did with my actual spray bottle because I don't see it. Yeah, but basically just put it in um one of my old. I think I put it in um whatever it's like the don't be bottle bottle is it's one of my favorite spray bottles and i don't also use this on my braids which is the african pride i use two versions i use the this is the extra shine and this is the enzyme breakage formula both of them are really pretty much the same you can find these like at walmart and they're of course meant for braids and have really good things in them i just kind of want to go a little bit more natural with it and kind of see if my hair responded better to that which is funny because I'm trying to see if my hair responds better to things. But my hair is responding just fine. So I'm not going to say better to things. I'm just kind of like try different things for my hair. I get bored easy. Um, so basically that's it for my hair. I'm going to put pictures of like my progress for the last for the last couple of months. Um, from my BC to month 8. And where I am now. And about my diet I guess you could say. I'm still doing the pink method. And I'm coming up on reset, which is going to be four days of the shakes and like just protein, which is going to be fun. Um, what I like about the pink method is really not any different from what I've done in the past to lose weight. It's really basically what works best for my body, which by the way, things that you see that I document in my journey and things like that, those are like the weight loss, the clothing sizes, all that is great. My favorite things are the non-scale victories, the non-clothing victories. Things that when I go to my doctor, he says, you're doing great. Those kind of things are what I'm living for right now. And what's my mother-in-law being in the hospital with her leg? She's diabetic. She's type 2. And like one of those main concerns when you're diabetic, if you're not getting enough, if you're not getting enough like blood flow and things like that. In diabetes, it can seriously lead to amputation and can sometimes can happen relatively quick. Thank you, baby. I found the other I, I, You had it. I mean, you found it. I mean, you lost it. <laughs> but I was done. But basically, what I've been doing since, um, with that, um, she got me completely off track. But yeah, pretty much with the men type of diabetic, it can really lead to amputation really quickly, it's which is why I, I do not play with the scissors. I can cut my Uh, you can't cut yourself if you're not going to use scissors, so leave it alone. Um, but basically, I'm cutting this night. Yes, because your daddy told you to cut stuff, which I'm not understanding why he did that. But yeah, you're not gonna cut today. But um, yeah, with that, 
if you're diabetic, having things wrong with your legs, thing like that can be kind of scary. So it's Whoa. really great. Yes, baby. The chat is on your phone. No, because my iPod. Oh. Can you give me a second, okay? Or your iPad. Oh. It's right here. I'm using it. And you're not finna cut that. No, you're not finna cut nothing. You're not finna cut it. Uh, leave it alone. Let me get them. But basically, um, I got my numbers back from my doctor, and I've been pre diabetic for like the past four, so possibly. Where are you going? Had to get a child. <laughs> Just real quick. Basically, I've been pre diabetic for like the past four to five years, and my numbers have got high enough to be type 2 diabetes, but they never lower back to normal ranges. And I'm really proud to say that when I got my results back two weeks ago, I'm no longer pre diabetic. All my blood sugar numbers are in the normal range. Now, my blood pressure is a little bit higher than I want it to be, but it's much lower than what it used to be. So, it's like, I think that's kind of I've been stressing out the last couple of months. So, like, that probably is playing a big role in that. So, yeah. Um, but what I like about the Pink Method is it may seem boring to other people, but I do well with the meal plan. Give me a fill in the blank, tell me what I'm supposed to have within these pharmacists, and I got it. And what I love about the Pink Method is that's what they do. Basically, this is what the dailies look like, um, and the breakdown for each one is really, really simple. Um, and when you're on primary for breakfast, it is a light protein and a slow carb or a slow fruit, which is normally like egg, hard boiled eggs and an orange or scrambled eggs and two slices of Sara Lee low calorie, um, the 45 calorie bread, easy. Um, for lunch is a light protein, a low carb calorie vegetable, and a slow fruit. So chicken breast, um, grilled chicken breast salad, um, have you an apple, have you an orange, have you a plum, have you a mango, mango nectarines are delicious. I'm so mad because I found mango nectarines at Fresh Market like a month ago. And they're only in season for about three weeks. So you can't even stock up on them. It's like when I found they're so good and they're out of season already. And but like cherries are like considered slow fruits, things like that. Um dinner is a light protein, a low calorie vegetable, and a slow carb. So that's like grilled steak, broccoli, brown rice, which is one of my favorite things to make, grilled chicken, um, Brussels sprouts, brown rice. Basically my carbs, and this may seem boring to people, but basically my carbs are, um, my favorite is the Sara Lee low, it's um, Sara Lee 45 calorie whole wheat bread. And for two slices it's like 90 calories, but you get six grams of protein, which is great. Um, I eat a lot of brown rice with chicken broth. Um, really those are the only carbs that are, like I do beans, I uh, do black beans sometimes, do cannelli beans, garbanzo beans, wax beans, things like that are really, really, honestly, when you eat bad food, you may not notice it, but you eat the same bad food over and over again. So with healthy food, is the people like, well, you can eat the same thing over, yeah, I can because, like, when you go to McDonald's, everybody that goes to McDonald's, you ain't got to look at the menu, you ain't got to think about it, I don't know why people sit in line, you know what you're going to get. If you get, if you're a big back person, you're gonna go and get you a number one every time. That's what you get. If you like chicken nuggets, you're gonna McDonald's, you get chicken nuggets every time. So if you eat every day at the same place, basically you're repeating the same meals over and over again, whether you think about it or not. So eating healthy, I'm sorry, that's just it's honestly I thought you like to try new things on occasion. Basically, when you get to a certain age, and this is just like for anybody that I know. You have your favorite foods, and that's what you eat on a regular basis. Like, with my fiancé, he can eat, God, oh my God, it irritates the hell out of me. But he will, if I let him and I will cook it, he will eat wings, mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese, cheddar broccoli rice, fried chicken, fried tilapia and grits, um, cheese grits. He would eat that every day. No lie. If I went to the grocery store and just stocked up on steak, chicken, tilapia, and fry it for him every day, he'd be fine. If I made mashed potatoes or macaroni and cheese or rice, if I do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, he'd be fine. He would never care. He would never complain because honestly, that's what those are his favorite foods. And like for the longest time since I've been cooking for him, it's like I'll eat one thing and he'll eat another. And I was seriously making the same meals over and over and over again. So a lot of people eat the same things over and over again. For me, 
this actually gives me more variety because it gives me a list of things that are like what are the slow carbs so like say if i don't want an apple sauce try orange give me some cherries it gives me kind of like a nice way of doing things that makes it really really basic for me um since this video is now running over what <laughs> i wanted to and she's gotten way too quiet over. um so i'm gonna do a video about what i do eat on a regular basis with the pink primary um gonna do a video about my natural eighth month because i'm now over 15 minutes and i can't edit it with the software i have um so basically i think that's all i want to say y'all so i will check with y'all next time as always y'all stay sweet and be blessed